Hi, I'm Dr. Drury with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. So what exactly is vertigo? Well, vertigo, the symptoms are often uh, dizziness, right? Lightheadedness so can sometimes uh, lead to uh, vomiting. It's kind of uh, uh, like being seasick, like really quick, right? Oftentimes. So what are the causes of vertigo? Well, what we have found is most of the time it actually has to do with the inner ear. Now, I know a lot of times you go to the ENT, they check the ear and they say there's nothing wrong with the ear. Well, what happens is, is the message from the ear has to be transmitted to the brain. The way that happens is through a nerve called the vestibular cochlear nerve. The vestibular part is balance, cochlear part is the hearing. And they're two separate branches as they leave the ear and then they come together to become one nerve as it goes to the upper neck, to the brain stem, where it then goes up into the brain. Well, what can happen is there's nothing wrong with the ear, right? Most of the time you go to the ENT, the ear looks perfectly fine. But somewhere between the ear and the brain, the message gets changed so that the brain gets a sensation of dizziness. Now, actually what happens is it throws off all the other receptors because your ear is saying one thing, the other ear is saying something else, your eyes are telling the brain something else, and then mechanoreceptors, which all of these uh, tell the brain where it is in space, is the message gets confused at the brain, which makes the brain go into that uh, vertigo, nausea, it's the same reflex that causes seasickness, actually. So if you're looking out on a flat horizon, your eyes tell your brain that you're actually standing still. But the boat's moving, so your body feels you going up and down, fluid in your ears and mechanoreceptors. And so the different messages confuse the brain, thus giving you the dizziness, which ultimately can turn into nausea. So what we have found is that there's one place without some sort of gross pathology like a tumor or some sort of a, a broken bone or something that can actually interfere with the message between the ear and the brain. Uh, it can thus create a change in what the brain interprets as normal, creating dizziness. It can often create ringing in the ears. It can often even interfere with the hearing itself making it harder to hear or creating a full sensation in the ear. So if one of the top bones in the neck, it's called the atlas or axis or the top two bones, get misaligned, then that message between the ear and the brain gets interfered with. It gets distorted, then leading to the vertigo. So as upper cervical chiropractors, what we have found is if we can find the misalignment, uh, and we can correct it perfectly, which is done best by an upper cervical doctor and a cervical specialist because they know there's 274 ways just those top two bones misalign and the more perfect we get it corrected the better it'll stay and the better the hearing will improve and the vertigo will improve because what we're going to do is now like taking your foot off the garden hose we're actually going to allow the real actual message from the perfectly working ear to get to the brain unimpeded, unaltered, so now the brain gets the normal message which goes along with the message that the rest of the body is sending to it so that now we no longer, the brain's no longer confused, the vertigo goes away, the nausea goes away, if associated lack of hearing, tinnitus, all of those things improve. So if you've been having vertigo, dizzy spells, come and go, maybe it's constant, uh, Find an upper cervical doctor near you. Let them check and see if maybe it's one of those top bones in your neck that's interfering with the message from the normal ear to the brain, creating the confusion in the brain, creating the dizziness, the vertigo. If so, if you do have an upper cervical misalignment, we can correct that. Removing any interference, allowing the body to work the way it's intended to work, allowing it to heal. Now, just remember that uh, everything in this universe, we live in a cause-effect universe. Everything Every effect has a cause. There's a reason why you have the vertigo. One thing I can guarantee you, it's not a drug deficiency. So taking medications will never fix it. It might mask it, it might make it feel better a little bit temporarily. But if you have a misalignment that's causing the vertigo, if you can find it and remove the cause, the effect goes away. The vertigo goes away. You feel better, no longer have the dizziness, the nausea, etc. Okay? If you live in the Charlotte area, Upper Cervical Spine Center, Dr. Drury, we're the office for you. Give our office a call at 704-588-5560. We never charge for the initial consultations to find out 
if you have a problem. If you do, then we'll explain to you what we need to do to locate the problem and remove the problem so that we can correct the cause of your vertigo. Um, if you live in a Pineville, Matthews, Charlotte, Gastonia, Lake Norman, Lake Wiley area, get, we're, we're the closest doctor to you. Give us a call. We'll be happy to get you in as soon as possible to get to the ultimate cause of your vertigo and get that corrected. If not, Google it. Try to find an upper cervical doctor near you. If you can't find one yourself, call our office. We'll do our best to try to find one closest to you. I hope this makes sense to you. And uh, if it does, please share it. Hope you have a great afternoon. Thank you.